impressions. The most important statistic by far. We're going to spend a whole section talking about impressions. Now, this account just started. This, this advertising account just started. They already got two impressions. Now, I want you to get between 2,000 and 5,000 impressions every single day. Obviously, the story doesn't end there. I got to show you a couple of things. Every single day, this is going to reset itself. It's going to start at zero every single day. Now, I've had students who left this date range at lifetime. If you leave it at lifetime, that means all of your impressions are going to be added up together. And if you have your impressions added up together, there's no way to reduce them. And I had a student tell me, hey, I have 6,000 impressions. How do you reduce this? They left it at lifetime by accident. And I told them, hey, you left it at lifetime. You should change your date range. And they changed their date range to like yesterday's date or something, you know, like 21. And they saw that they got no impressions. They didn't have 6,000. They had zero for forever. And then once I told them that, they changed their bid from like 10 cents to like 80 cents. Your bid is what gives you impressions. So right now we have two impressions. Let me put this on today's date. Right now we have two impressions. We want to get between 2,000 and 5,000 every day. So we got two in like an hour, which means I need to modify my bid. How do I do that? By clicking on the actual campaign name, which in this case, it's Auto Dog Bandana. And I scroll down and I click on Auto Dog Bandana yet again. Down the left-hand side, I'm going to click on a button that says Targeting. Once I click on Targeting, I scroll down and I see four bids. Four bids that I have to modify. Now, it is true. You can see a lot of information on YouTube and whatever. We're like, hold on, let me expand this where you should modify close match and you should increase it as much as possible, but compliments decrease it as much as possible. I find that too complicated. Why should you make loose match super high? I don't know. I don't know how to manage that. I like to keep all the bids the same, always at, you know, always the same. And I like to increase or decrease according to my impressions goals. I already saw that I have two impressions very, very little. So I like to increase this eh, probably three to four times per day. You're going to figure out how many times per day you're going to check this, but I like to increase this or decrease this by 10% intervals. So I'll take 10% of 0.63, which is like probably just six cents. And I would modify these bids to 69. Okay. 69 cents. 69 cents, 69 cents. Oh, I have to click save. I wasn't clicking save, see? I committed an error. That's good that I committed this error because I can show you how not to do something, see? When you change these bids, don't forget to click save, save, and save. Okay, so I changed my bid. Now, my bid is higher. Therefore, I'm going to get shown more. My impressions are going to be higher. How much higher? I have no idea. I have to check my statistics to be able to see how much higher my impressions increased. If my impressions increase like a lot, like a lot, a lot to like 7,000, I don't need that many impressions. And therefore, I can decrease my bids if I want to, so I don't spend as much. It is nice to have 7,000 impressions, but you don't need that much. You need between 2,000 and 5,000 to be able to see what to do next. If you have sufficient impressions, you have sufficient data that will tell you what to do next. So try to get between 2,000 and 5,000. Try to pay attention to the date range. Make sure you're on today's date or even yesterday's date because if you're on today's date and only half the day has gone by, you're only seeing half of your impressions. And yesterday's date, if you had a complete day, then you can see your what your full impressions look like. And those impressions change every day, every single day. There's businesses everywhere modifying their bids and therefore your impressions are gonna change all the time. That's why you have to constantly monitor these impressions all the time to make sure that you're getting between 2,000 and 5,000 per day. I'll tell you another story. There was another student who I did the class a month ago and they had their date range set to the 11th of last month. 
and they told me that they only got 300 impressions and they increased their bid to $2.50, which our bid right now is 69 cents. So they, they did like four times as much and they did not notice that they left it on the 11th of last month. So they tried you know, putting yesterday's date or something and they got 50,000 impressions. And I know the story because it happened. It really did happen. They got 50,000 impressions. I told you to get two to five. They got 50,000. Okay. So they started spending $50 per day for a very long time. They spent so much money and it did not end well for them. Uh, they, they of course modified their bid. They're not doing $2 and 50 cents anymore, but that was a problem at the time. So, so don't forget, don't forget you start off with the low bids, modify your bids, until you get between 2,000 and 5,000 impressions per day. Let it run a week. Once you let it run a week, you'll have enough information to be able to confirm to you that your product is either good or if it's bad.